What's going on everyone? I'm here with a Lego Friends review. I picked this set up because there were certain elements in this set that I did want, such as the red apples. So, let me get into the box. I do have a large amount of female subscribers, so hopefully you enjoy this Friends review. Alright, this set is ages 6 through 12. It's number 41026. It's the Sunshine Harvest. 233 pieces. Okay, it comes with Olivia as their mini doll. And it only comes with one. It also comes with that little puppy right there. It is a strawberry fruit stand, jam stand. Outdoor scene. For the top of the box, you get Olivia's actual size and look. And for the back, you see it's two bags. There's the stand. You can take money. Show the friends. And what else you get in the set? A little area for your dog. All the nice elements. And a little patch. Okay. Oh, and also the box is beveled on each end. And it's bowed actually curved so here's the instruction manual it's one book and a Lego friends this is what the artwork looks like looks like it's stitched all along with cloth on the back you get her so it looks when and how to organize for the page. This is how many steps for you? Thirteen. Oh, that's for that. But yeah, for advertising, if you want to take a look. Well, there's this nice shot of everything finished. Here's your like mini figure checklist or mini doll checklist if you're interested. Really not interested at all. Especially in these ones. But yeah, there's that page. Some other available new sets such as that looks like a farm, a poodle thing, and Heart Lake City. Looks like a juice bar. I kind of want that scooter for my city. That, um, it's like a Vespa maybe. This. But I can't imagine getting it right now. Maybe. Um, but if I do, I'll review it. Shot of the back, ad for Lego Friends online, a lot of ads, and I guess here's the video game. Who knows what you do in it. So yeah, that's that. Alright, let's just start with Olivia, the mini doll. And I have had another Olivia set before, and it's the... Um, Science, the laboratory where you had the little robot and all that stuff. So yeah, I've had that before. I wanted pieces out of that one too. It's just completely disassembled now, but yeah. So this is her. She's got the same kind of hair she always has. Look at her face. Her torso printing. It's like cherry blossoms. She has a little skirt on and little purple shoes. So that is Olivia. Next I'm going to show you her puppy. She comes with a little puppy. This is where he can sit. It's a nice little area for him to sit on peg to. 
you get these uh, roof slopes, flowers on each side, those flower pieces, and here's a look at the puppy. Spot on one eye, blue eyes, it's like a little bulldog, I think. There's where it pegs. There you go, studs on. He comes with one accessory, which is a little bone. That's for the puppy. Um, next I'll show you a tractor. <clears throat> comes with a lot of rare elements and colors. These are each a half circle cylinder, really nice. Two big tires in the back. Let me show you how she sits in there. They have a separated, well she has a separated leg, so let's put it like that. She can't even really reach the wheel, so she just sits there and it dries. <laughs> Um, has a little smokestack area that's decorated with flowers. I mean, exhaust area, I meant to say. You can tilt this little trailer or separate it. You can put apples back there. This is why I bought the set. I wanted red apples. This comes with like four red apples. I never had any red apples, and um, I have a whole bunch of green. But here is finally I got my hands on red, which usually a lot of apples are red. She has a wrench for working on something, but he, I want to show you some rare elements. Look at these. Never seen these before. Barricade corners in this color. I've never seen this piece, much less in that color either. So, really rare. That's got to be rare too, that color of a slope. Two wheels there. It comes with a ball hitch, and you just hitch it on here. And when she's around the farm, whatever, when, when you turn, it just trails behind you. Look at the front, little lights, little bar, little gauge there that's printed. So that's pretty much the tractor. And you can put anything else you want back there, like load up other vegetables and fruits or whatever. Let's go over the tree. You get a little nice build tree, but with a unique plate. This lion plate is pretty rare, I would say. Not many things come in it. You get a little thing here. I don't know what you're supposed to put in there. Maybe apples. You have flower bouquet there. A uh, fallen apple down here, maybe. That's like a. I like that piece there on top for the tree. And on the tree, you can see there are two different shades of greenery darker and lighter. There's pink flowers, and you can load up the trees with um, apples, red apples, and you can pick them out. So you have any hole there, and you can pick, put apples and whatever in those holes. So yeah, that's where she's getting a lot of her fruit, this tree. Next in the set, you have this little thing here. It's a little bucket. You can take it off if you want, but she's picked... Uh, some flowers and this is a new piece it's like you can use it for like this and put flowers on it and use it like a bouquet or you can use it like I like to think of it as an ice cream cone and not use it like this and just put these like this use this for ice cream but yeah you need colors all around colors that aren't use too often and if you like to build you need a lot of different things so that's that little potted flower a really nice one of my favorite features of the set is this little garden patch it's done on um, I don't know how many studs that is Let's see here two two four six six by six I guess uh, yeah, and um, it's really nice. You have a little gate here. Whoops, it's white picket fence around a little garden, and it's got different rows. So, Olivia can open this and tend to her first row. In the first row, you've got a carrot ready to be picked, you can harvest that, and you can put it back here, or you can put it in the stand for sale. So there's that. 
dirt rows, you have six brown jumper plates. And those are like dirt in the garden, popping stuff out. This is a carrot that has not formed yet, popped out. This is another unknown fruit, maybe a beanstalk or something because it's like curving, curling. Those are neat pieces. I've never had them. So another bonus of why I got this set. I like those. And these, I think, are like tomatoes. Really, really nice. You can pick those out. And then those are like rocks. You close the door. Or gate. And it's like a little gate. She has a little, you call this here, a rake. And she can hold the rake like this. In case you didn't know how they clip stuff in their hand. And work. So that is the little garden patch. I like the idea of it. Really pretty nice. Now on to the main feature of the set. The stand. Okay. This thing's got so many neat elements in it. You can have this in your regular Lego City. You can change up whatever you want color-wise up here or whatever. But yeah, this could be a fruit stand, jam stand, pie stand, jelly stand, anywhere in your Lego City out in the country. So let's go over it. It's a little archway. You can tell it's got a cash register and all your goods are set up here. Um, it's done in like a strawberry shortcake type colored theme. And you can change that if you want, but it goes with the theme of the set. It looks really nice so you have two pink things here alternating pink up here this jam with a um strawberry jam that is a printed piece so if you want to make like a granny's kitchen or a restaurant or anything and you want a piece that looks like country cooking or a country like jam you'll really want that title so that's printed. Uh, no stickers in this whole set. Everything you get is printed. Here's another reason why I like this set a lot. You get strawberries. Let's get these in focus. Strawberries. You get like seven of them. You get an extra strawberry. They're the flat studs with the printed strawberry on it, which I thought is a really clever touch and really neat. I'm always open for more Lego food. And here's another item, strawberries. These ones actually have the greenery still around them. They're freshly picked strawberries. They peg there, stud on. The next item for sale are is uh, two red apples and two little things of cherries. These are the cherries. And you get two sprigs of those. And two more apples here. So you total four apples. The little um, basket area to the right of that, you have the jams and jellies. Oh, this one's like a lemon, lemon jelly, and they feature a gold smooth stud lid. You get an orange jelly. There it is. So here's the orange jelly. It comes in a square jar. This one is a different flavor, obviously. And the third big jar you get is strawberry. Or cherry or anything you can imagine red. But I assume since this is strawberry stand, it's strawberries. And for the little jars, you get a lemon and a cherry. Next thing down the line for sale is a strawberry cream pie. You have the top crust, the bottom crust, the uh, strawberry glaze, and the whipped cream all in there. So that's the pie. Pegs there. On the back, she has a printed cash register. See all the numbers there? And this is a, it's a, oh, it's actually a weight thing, I think. This is a scale, I think, because it's got a flat area. You put the thing on there, she's selling by weight, I guess. It comes with a dollar bill. Lego money, I mean. One Lego unit of money. 100 units, whatever. 
<clears throat> and uh, this is what it looks like from the back of the stand. So very, very nice. I'm gonna keep it assembled and put it in my city. I'm not gonna use Olivia, of course. I'll just use regular minifigures. Keep it like in the country, whatever. But yeah, here she is. And that is pretty much it with this set. She can be in there and her puppy can be, you know, going around freely. So, that is pretty much it with this set. Hope you've enjoyed it. A lot of neat things you get in it if you're looking for that kind of thing, like extra Lego food or whatever. Don't hesitate to pick this up. It's like $15, I think. I really don't know. So, thanks for watching this video. Um, sh you're uh, one of my female subscribers. I do have quite a few of you. I hope you enjoyed this. You may want to pick this up. There's a lot of nice elements in it you probably would like. And, yeah. This is really nice friends release. Thanks for watching. Check out my new Lego movie videos. And, um, I have openings of Lego mi minifigure movie packs and uh, also some sets reviewed. So yeah, if you like this, please subscribe. Oh yeah, I have one Lego Disney Cinderella's Carriage review if you want to check that out too. Alright, see you next time. Bye.